A good movie death means different things to different people. Mortal greatness can be linked to inventiveness, impact on the plot, shock factor, sheer ridiculousness, or just simply something that sticks with you long after the credits roll. And that's without getting into the goriest, grimmest, and most unsettling ways to die either. Considering all of these definitive pillars that make for the best methods of wiping people out, looking back over the last decade of movies provides plenty of serious contenders. After all, death in Hollywood is still one of the most valuable currencies. It's how we're told that the stakes are high, it's how we're sold threats, and it is how the wind is punched out of us. But which were the best movie deaths of the decade, and why did they leave such a mark? Naturally, there are some serious spoilers in here, so watch on at your own peril. Don't say I didn't warn you. I am the Grim Reaper, Ash from What Culture, and these are the 10 best movie deaths of the decade. Honourable Mentions I'm just going to be honest with you all here and say this list leans less gore-heavy as we're limited by what we can safely show on YouTube. So here's a shout out to the movies that didn't quite make it. Bone Tomahawk's Infamous Split, Final Destination 5's ridiculous opening death sequence, Jurassic World Zara getting chomped by the Mosasaurus, Sinister's inventive home footage deaths, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil's wood chipper accident, Django and Chain's Calvin Candy biting it, and plenty more that deserve a shout out. That is as well as the more wholesome stuff like Bing Bong from Inside Out and Dobby from Harry Potter. There are so, so many affecting deaths, but let me know your picks in the comment section below and we can hash this out some more. As for those movies with emotional impact combined with spectator sport, let's get to business. 10. Sebastian Shaw X-Men First Class 2011 The X-Men franchise has seen some pretty horrible villains, but Kevin Bacon's Sebastian Shaw was arguably its most viscerally affecting. He really had a way of getting under your skin thanks to the glee with which he took to experimenting on his own kind as a Nazi scientist. Watching him torment a young Magneto before going full supervillain a couple of decades later was one of the best parts of First Class. After following Magneto wrestle with the morally complex question of his own purpose for almost the entire movie, he's unable, or unwilling, to put aside Charles Xavier's calming teaching and allows himself to avenge the murder of his mother. And he does it in some style. He uses the very same coin that Shaw gave to Eric to demonstrate his magnetic abilities with as a child in a Nazi death camp, forcing it through Shaw's skull agonizingly slowly and proving his powers to him in full force. It is haunting and awful, but it's hard not to think that Shaw got exactly what he had coming. 9. Yondu – Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 – 2017 Heroes come in all shapes and sizes, and sometimes it takes them a long time to show their true colours. Such was the tale of Yondu, who started off bad, went a little bit worse, and then ended up breaking everyone's hearts with a single, stunning moment of heroism. At the end of the second Guardians of the Galaxy, Yondu has lost his ship and most of his crew, but he has gained a lot more character depth and complexity. Of course, he had also gained a son, or rather, more accurately, he confirmed he'd been the father Peter Quill assumed he was missing his whole life. In his final moment, Yondu sacrificed himself, giving his life to save Peter and telling him he had always been his daddy. It's beautifully touching and hit all of the right notes it needed to. 8. Desi Collings – Gone Girl 2014 Let's be honest here, there's pretty much no character in David Fincher's Gone Girl who we spend any real amount of time with that you consider a good person. Everyone has some major character flaw. Whether it's narcissism, greed, adulterous desires, or being a big old psychopathic murderer in secret, so you have to adjust your moral compass to watch it. The genius of the film is that you actually find yourself admiring the smart plan laid out by Rosamund Pike's Amy as she fakes her own death and implicates her cheating husband. And then, just when it looks like he's going to prison for her murder, she decides he's worth another chance, so flips her plan. Instead, she frames her former lover Desi, seducing him before slashing his throat and escaping his home drenched in his blood. It is brutal. The fact that she can be so casual with life to suit her agendas, and that she gets away with it, is as confusing as it is weirdly exhilarating. 7. Death is better than bondage Black Panther 2018 In most MCU films, the villains die in the midst of their plans for world domination. 
But then, as the Marvel franchise got longer in the tooth, the ideas of morality they explored became more complex, and later villains became empathetic and even understandable. Sure, they might have taken things a little far, but they weren't without cause or justification, which is why Eric Killmonger in Black Panther was so great. In other words, he could have been the hero. Ultimately, good prevails, and Killmonger is mortally wounded by T'Challa. But when he is given the opportunity of the medical assistance that would save him, he offered the most iconic final line of pretty much any film. Just bury me in the ocean with my ancestors that jump from ships, because they knew death was better than bondage. He then removes the blade in his chest and bleeds out, dying on his own terms and managing to ensure T'Challa is not entirely absolved of the sins of the father. 6. Derek Piranha 2010 The 2010 Piranha reboot is a ridiculous film, marketed almost entirely on breasts, though not as much as one titled Piranha 3 Double D, it has to be said, it knows exactly what it is. A fun, entertaining celebration of B-movies. The B stands for breasts. It was never going to pull up any treats, but the commitment to silliness and shocking gore that went straight for the gutter was an inspired move. And when you're going for the shock factor, having a shoal of killer fish de-penis a former child star actor playing a sleazy pornographer is a great way to go. Step forward Jerry O'Connell's Derek Jones, who ends up in the deadly waters and attacked by some piranhas with a taste for his lower half. In the ensuing feasting, his pork sword is bitten clean off, only to float away after being coughed up by a fish. Derek then dies of blood loss back on the boat. But hey, what a way to go! 5. Han Solo – Star Wars The Force Awakens 2015 Lots of people have lots of complaints about the new Star Wars, but you can't avoid the success the movies have had in bringing a whole new generation of fans to a galaxy far, far away. And part of that was always going to involve moving on from the past. In a precursor to Kylo Ren vowing to kill the past, we learn that he was once known as Ben Solo, but was lost to the dark side whilst under the tutelage of Uncle Luke to follow in the footsteps of his grandpappy Vader. Han Solo wasn't convinced his son was entirely lost, however, and took it upon himself to reason with Ben. In a moment best described as emotionally explosive, Harrison Ford belatedly got his wish, and Han became Kylo's biggest victim. For it to look like Kylo Ren might have been redeemed for one moment before running his own father through with a lightsaber was just pure, old-fashioned Star Wars at its best. 4. Everyone – Avengers Infinity War 2018 It might have been undone in the end, but you still have to really admire what the Russos and Marvel Studios did at the end of Avengers Infinity War. We'd all watch the Infinity Saga unfold and gather speed over the first ten or so years of the MCU. We knew Thanos was coming, and that he had great and terrible plans for the Stones. Even the fans of the same saga in the comics can't have been certain that he was going to do what he did though. Because you fundamentally do not kill off a massive number of your heroes when most of them are being set up as the future of your franchise. That's just not how branding works. And yet, there we were. Thor missed his shot, Thanos clicked his fingers, and we watched the Guardians, the new Avengers, and Spider-Man traumatically perish. The silence that followed was heavy and deafening, and we won't experience a cinematic event much like it ever again. 3. Charlie Loses Her Head Hereditary 2018 Want to make a big splash in any movie? Want everyone to talk about your movie with a mixture of shock, awe, and disgust? Why, simply lop the head off an innocent child and you're guaranteed a winner. No horror movie death scene of the past decade had anything quite like the impact, and I mean that quite literally, as the awful surprise death of Charlie in Hereditary. Already struggling to just live after accidentally eating some nuts and having a massive allergic reaction, Charlie stuck a head out of the window for air just as her high brother Peter swerved to avoid an animal on the way to the hospital. Naturally, Charlie loses her head. Peter drives home haunted by both the trauma and his sister's dead body in the back seat of his car. Charlie's removed head isn't found until the next day, either, in a genius decision which makes it even more shocking and more provocative. Just try and shift that image of the ants out of your mind. I dare you. 2. Wolverine – Logan 2017 It doesn't matter that we knew ahead of time that Logan was going to be Hugh Jackman's last outing as Wolverine, or that the R rating meant death, or that everything was pointing towards a traumatic ending. When Logan breathed his last, it was still one of the most impactful, sad deaths of all time. 
And to think we'd already had to deal with the startling, heartbreaking death of Professor X just before the film's big third act. We shouldn't have had any feelings left by that point. Luckily, James Mangold knew how to energize a stripped nerve, and we watched Logan fight the angrier, more efficient clone version of himself and be dumped fatally with eyes and jaws agape. In those final moments, we watched Logan grasp with his own mortality, but also with the revelation that he really was a father. His death's real genius came in the idea that it was both a fitting, welcome release and a deeply sad one all the same. 1. Tony Stark Avengers Endgame 2019 After Infinity War broke our hearts, we knew the snap had to be undone, though there would still be a body count when it was somehow managed. This was, after all, the final stand of the original Avengers team, and not all of them would be coming out alive. Still, seeing Tony Stark choose to give his own life, but also to be the only one who could to save the universe from Thanos, according to the logic of Doctor Strange's visions anyway, was still a remarkable thing to witness. He had built a life away from heroism, but he gave that up at the chance of happiness and peace to pave the lives of his friends and billions of others with his own. In the end, he got to say he was the one to lie down on the wire, and no MCU fan will ever get over it for a long, long time. Of course, he also had to go down with the final act of Defiant Bravado with his I Am Iron Man quip. And that is what good cinema is made of. And that's our list. Yes, yes, I know there are lots missing and some more gruesome picks are missed, but that's where you come in. What are your favorite movie deaths of the past 10 years? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I've been Ash and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back again soon for some more grisly film content. Thanks for watching.